Yep, we can do one o'clock. To look at 50-year-old Deborah Seville, you wouldn't know she's homeless. Yes, she has some sporadic work, but she's among the millions of Americans who are jobless and whose unemployment benefits have run out. Right before my eyes, you know, just like everything, yeah, falling apart. And also what goes along with that is sort of, um, you know, my zest for life and... Um, I don't know, like, you know. Like a future. Deborah envisioned her future in museums. She was working as an assistant curator at the Brooklyn Museum in 2007 when she lost her job. Then she got evicted. These days, she's staying with whoever will take her in, including two nights at a shelter. Now she's sleeping on the floor in this artist's loft, but needs to be out before Christmas. Deborah tells us every day is a strategy of survival. So, you know, I've had to make choices where, like, I get, like, a small, um, you know, like, a, a small amount of money to put on my phone, you know, because it's just, like, it's just a prepaid cell phone, and then put a little bit of gas in my car and then make a little more money. While she searches for work, she's also applied for a grant to a master's program in social work, her original career, and in the meantime, takes odd jobs. Part of the issue here is... Her situation has driven her to meetings like this one for 99ers, a term for people who've exhausted the 99-week limit on unemployment benefits. Key and Frederick is an organizer in what's become part political action, part support group. To say, you're lazy, go get a job, you've got your 99 weeks. Where are the jobs? 99ers want to work. We need a J-O-B so we can E-A-T. 99ers have also staged rallies, pressing Congress to extend what is already an unprecedented amount of benefits. But opponents say if there's an extension, there needs to be spending cuts. After losing benefits seven months ago, Deborah isn't holding out hope for more government help and braces herself for the possibility of living in her car. I don't know where I'm going to end up. You know, I mean, you know, I need my car. I can't be potentially homeless and without something that allows me to do what I need to do. Mary Snow, CNN, New York.